Okay, I'll admit it, I'm in love with the Mackerel Islands. Located just off the coast of Onslow, which is about two hours south of Caratha by road, or two hours north of Perth by air, this place is a coast lover's paradise with everything you could ever want to experience at your fingertips. One of my favourite things to do when I'm staying on the Mackerel Islands is to head out from my beachside accommodation out to the water. Now, accommodation, it comes in a couple of different options. There's some terrific bungalows that have got two double bedrooms, ideal for two couples, but there's also bungalows set up for families where you can bring a whole bunch of kids as well. It's a really well set up organisation. Then you stroll down to that beach, you sit back, you relax, you suck up that fantastic Mackerel Islands atmosphere and enjoy it. It's not hard. Just off the jetty, which is a fabulous place for the kids to fish with hand lines, there are so many top quality table fish, quite literally swimming in, around and under it. You don't really need to leave the island if you don't want to. There's a wonderful bommy reef system full of tropical fish playing right next door to it as well. Perfect for a snorkel. Well, I've got to tell you, the water here is absolutely amazing. And just offshore, you'll find the most fantastic snorkeling. The corals here are spectacular. And West Australian corals, the ones that grow off the northwest coast, are quite unique. These varieties have been proven not to have problems with coral bleaching, which means that when you get out into the water, you see so much more. The reef is alive, quite literally. And the corals, anemones and sea urchins are the first thing that I notice. The corals are quite different here, where other places on the planet are suffering bleaching issues related to climate change, warming our oceans. These have been identified as more durable and adaptable, and therefore damage seems to be less. The other thing is the types of corals you get here. The brain corals are absolutely fascinating, but there are plate corals and in deeper water stag corals too. As you move deeper, the fish life gets more and more prominent. The reef fish dart around with damsels, parrotfish and a myriad of colourful fish playing around. But the deeper I head, the bigger the fish get. The golden trevally and five spot trevally circle in huge schools. This really is a special place underwater. And after a day snorkelling or fishing on the island, the chance to cook up a seafood feast is irresistible. It's a brilliant way to finish every single day and it's seriously possible as the seafood supply off the islands is simply amazing. Well, I've identified a pretty serious problem here at the Mackerel Islands. The plates just are not big enough. Look at this amazing seafood and all of it has been caught locally around the island and prepared in a feast that I'll never forget. This is the quintessential Aussie beach experience on an island you'll never forget. If you haven't been to the Mackerel Islands, you have to make sure you get here. Look at this. 